Welcome to the very first episode, it's going to be episode 0, of our Gornik Zabza FIFA 20 career mode. Now, this will be the first series that I'm going to put up on this new channel. And pretty much, there's going to be a twist to this one. Uh, because, let's face it, FIFA 20 is pretty sh It really is. I'm gonna just going to say it. But, what we've got is, I've called it career mode revamped. And... Essentially what I've done is I've set some limitations and restrictions to myself so that I make sure that FIFA is a little bit more realistic, it's a little bit more fun, it's not the same boring stuff every time, and that's pretty much the most of it. I'll get through that as we go along, but basically it's just so I don't get bored, and uh, that's pretty much where we're at. So now what I'll do is I'll go into the transfer rules now and everything like that. So I have set myself some transfer rules. The first one is that every window, I can only have a net spend of 500k. That doesn't mean that I have a 500k budget though. That means if I want to buy some players, and let's say I want to get a player that's worth 800k, that means that I have to, uh, I have to get back 300k by selling other players. It in order to so that the gap um, of profit and loss is 500k. Uh, essentially what I mean. Uh, second of all, I can only buy players that I deem realistic. And what I've gone through is I've done a little bit of a list for myself to make sure that it's pretty much what I'm after. So, the players have to be Polish or Eastern European. Uh, players from smaller clubs. Uh, I can't buy from bigger clubs unless there's like a loan deal or something like that. Uh, potential no higher than 75 and the players must be no older than 23. I am going to be doing essentially a youth academy rebuild. Pretty much I want to make uh, Gornik Zabza uh, a powerhouse for like developing youth in Poland. It pretty much like, almost like Ajax pretty much. but you know, in Eastern Europe. And apart from that, obviously a big part of the Youth Academy is actually having a Youth Academy, so we are going to be doing some youth stuff here. Uh, but there's heavy restrictions on this one, uh, because we all know how quickly we can exploit it. First of all, I can only hire youth staff uh, with a two-star maximum rating for the first season. So this is the only player I can use. Oh, this is the only scout that I can actually buy. And I can only buy one for the first season. One scout. This is just to make sure that it's easier for me uh, to... or well, it's harder for me to actually get those, like, huge 90-plus potential players. And I think that's just more realistic. Uh, only one star player allowed per season, which means they have a minimum of 75 potential and only two players can be promoted per season and a maximum of 11 players that I can actually sign to my youth academy. Uh, that's as far as the youth goes. There are some additional rules. There's only three. Uh, there's no training allowed. I, I can't just massively boost up player ratings to make me look better. Uh, no European competitions in the first season. Because, believe it or not, even though they're usually mid-table, and they finished mid-table last season, uh, because there's less teams, there's some teams that aren't in FIFA that play in Europa League, uh, they put me in. But, okay, we can't do that. And the last one, no pre-season tournament. I haven't got a pre-season tournament um, selected. So, I can't earn any money like that. I have to be selling players. Fair enough. That's all the rules. Good. Now, what I've done is I've identified a couple of things that would could be really useful for us. So, the main one is our positions that are needed. So, essentially, I'm going to go through the squad right now. We're going to have a look at um, how these players look. And let's start right here. Well, should we do attributes? Yeah, we'll do attributes. Okay. Um, so, we've got Tudy. I'm, I'm going to butcher these so much. So, I'm sorry about that. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. Uh, we got two keepers, that's the important thing. We got two keepers. I could use another more promising keeper. I don't think his potential is very high. It's not above 70, so I'm gonna try and get one. Uh, that's relatively promising. Uh, 
but we've also got our defense is fine. We've got three left backs, but this guy I'm going to be using as a center back instead because that's his second position and his strength is actually at 80 and he's not very pacey. So yeah, he won't be my left back. Um, we've also got three center backs, including Koj. We've got four. We've got four center backs, so that means I'm going to get one more. And we've also got uh, just two right backs, and one of them is 56 rating. And not that great. So I'm going to have to get another right back as well. Apart from that, there's two more positions. So we've got goalkeeper, center back, right back. Um, after this, we've got... Uh, well, we've got one attacking mid, one center mid, and four um, defensive mids. Two of these guys are 30, so really we've only got four defensive mids, center mids, and attacking mids combined. That's no good. We need at least one more center mid and one more attacking mid. I think that's completely fair, especially because our attacking mid is a 57 rated. So I think that's completely fair. Um, and that's pretty much it. We won't go through this too much. You'll get to know the players as we play them. But pretty much that's the most of it. And what else do we need to do? I've got a checklist here to make sure I'm on track. Uh, board expectations. That's it. I need to go through board expectations. So let's have a look right here. Whoops, a daisy. Uh, all right. Go through youth development. Grow one youth academy player by at least 10 overall. Jesus. I can't, I have to do that by training, can't I? We're doing, we're going to ignore that goal. We won't worry about that. Sign four youth academy uh, players assigned to all positions. So just sign four players, pretty much. We can do that. Brand exposure, sell out, or I don't know. We'll probably do that at some point. We can't really do much about it. We just have to play well. Uh... PKO Bank Polski Extra Classer. I think I got that right. Achieve a high finish. Current position three. Or oh, high position, I'm gonna assume that means like top four or something. That I'm not gonna reach the quarter final. We're in the round of 16 right now. So I have to win just one match and I'm reached the quarter final. Uh, financial, reach the season with a profit margin of nine million. Can we do that? I don't know. They put high priority on it, so it's going to be one of the big ones I'm going to have to do. <laughs> it, we may as well. Let's uh, let's earn nine million. I don't know how we're going to do that, but no, oh well, it doesn't really matter. So after that, what have we got? Done the squad analysis, pretty much. Got positions needed. The best eleven. Here is our best eleven right now. I've changed it to a four-two-three-one. Pretty much just because um, playing three at the back, I feel a little bit more exposed, and it's not something that I'm really used to. I like the four-two-three-one pretty much just because it's easy, it's flexible. If you want to have someone further up, you can do that. Um, well, where was he? If you feel like he was like right there, uh, left mid. There we go. And. Pretty much this is it. It's flexible. It's it's not a bad formation by any means. And I don't know. Apart from that, let's hire our youth. Actually, we need to fire some scouts from the Global Transfer Network because we're going to be doing a lot of our research on SoFIFA. So let's have a look here. Uh, manage scout. Recall. Recall. Oh wait, can we fire them? Okay, so there is a release clause. Oh, we don't need to fire them anyway, because we'll need to do the... Oh, don't worry about it. It's alright. So, the last thing we have to do before I conclude this episode is I'm going to go through the youth stuff. So let's have a look. Hi, Scout. There is one Scout we can buy. That is all we can do. I'm going to hire him. Uh, we're going to set up a scouting network, and all we need to do, uh, we're going to do Poland, three months, any. We just want to try and get any players that we possibly can. Let's give it a go. And once we've done that, let's go through the inbox, actually. Set up scouting network. Pretty much all this, we don't need to worry about. We're fine. 
at the moment. Our profit is down 53k. Uh, that's pretty much just because we got the scout and stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much it for episode 0. So, pretty soon, I want to get episode 1 out of the way. I'm probably going to have it ready before this is up and upload it a couple days later. We're going to see what happens, but hopefully this is the start of something really fun because I actually am looking forward to having a career mode that doesn't bore me to death. And hopefully by you guys interacting, maybe we can get some sort of storyline going for these players. Maybe you get a couple cult heroes or something. Maybe we can edit a couple. I don't know. I, w I want to try and uh, bring you guys into the career mode so you can interact and have an impact on this. Anyway, that's all from me. Please subscribe to Top of Sport if you're interested in seeing this stuff. Please check out the trailer that I actually released for this because it's actually really good. And I put, put a lot of time into it. And uh, also follow us on Twitch because uh, pretty much whatever I'm not showing on YouTube I'll be doing on Twitch, so you guys can follow along, do whatever you need there. Uh, the links will be in the description for that. That's pretty much it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you later.